Day 32 Second Kings chapter 4 verses 32 to 33 that amplified. When Elisha came into the house, the child was dead and lying on his bed. So he went in, shut the door behind the two of them and prayed to the Lord. Second Kings chapter 4 verses 36 to 37. Then Elisha called Gehazi and said, call this Shunammite. So he called her and when she came to him, he said, pick up your son. Hmm. She came and fell at his feet, bowing herself to the ground in respect and gratitude. Then she picked up her son and left. At first, the child was dead. Then Elisha prayed to the Lord and called her to pick up her son. And she came in with gratitude and picked up her son. The Lord has heard each and every one of your prayers. It is time to go and pick up your answers with gratitude, just like this Shunammite woman. It is time to pick up our answers to everything that may have seemed dead. Hallelujah. Be it a lack of finances, it is time to pick up your abundance. Be it marriage, it is time to pick up your husband. Be it a loss of job, it is time to pick up your new job. Be it stagnation, it is time to pick up acceleration. It is time to pick up speed. Be it your child, it is time to pick up your child. Whatever area of your life may have seemed dead, we are picking up life today. Yes, I pick up my job. Yes, I pick up my health. I pick up my child. I pick up my abundance. Oh, I pick up my husband. I pick up fruitfulness. I pick up acceleration. I pick up speed. I pick up everything that the Lord has destined for me. Do not let the enemy fool you. He has no right over what the Lord has said is yours. We are not just picking up our promises. We are picking them up with gratitude, with joy, in dancing, with praise. Every day from this day, we pick up testimonies with joy. Yes, we pick up good news with praise. Yes, praise the most high God. Hallelujah. I am a complete woman.